Good afternoon, fellow punchers. The clock on the wall says a quarter to four on Sunday. I think it's the first time ever I've done a video this early or late. I don't know which it is. In between, I suppose. But I had a bit of a headache all morning with no drink in the system the last couple of days. But I'm going for a scatter now because I'm off tomorrow. And I'll have a headache tomorrow. There'll be a reason for it, I'll tell you. I had to go back to bed a couple of times. The head was bloody buzzing. Uh, and I don't know why, because I was in bed early for half ten last night. But I'm going for a scatter. I might miss the first five minutes of the match, but uh, or maybe ten. But um, I'll head there. Uh, yesterday, um, Aldari was the disappointment, but uh, it was a funny sort of a race. I hate when two horses tear off like that, because it leaves whoever's in third then in sort of no man's land, and the one at the back then master of the seas so i didn't think would go on the ground uh and it drifted uh it beat us uh, it sort of spoiled sort of spoiled sort of what it would have been a good enough day otherwise we had uh blue for you it was 13 to 2 um a winner one snug and that will be we might what i've look at that because that'll be going to good what i'd say for a handicap uh i think it's 10 or 12 to 1 we might play that Similarly, with Nashua after winning two days ago, that's definitely going for the Nassau Stakes. It's three to one. Won it last year. Um, the French horse is probably favourite, but it may not come for sure. So we may back Nashua. I'll have a look at that and I'll I'll uh, I'll see what's the story for uh, tomorrow evening's video. Um, Razzle was placed. Awal was placed. Spirit Dancer wasn't, and I went close enough to put in Astro King, but it was 50 to 1 at the time. You know, well, I put tipped it up as an, as an anti post bet for the Royal Hunt Cup at Ascot, and it ran terrible, but back to where it had run well before, it was only beating the nose at 50s. It would have sweetened the uh, each way lucky 15. And uh, Ibramovo, Bramovich, that one won last night as well. Uh, I didn't see it, I was umpire at a match. And uh, lucky enough, I had pull ups on me, and uh, uh, it was raining or mist, and it was cold too, miserable. But uh, I was coming Yale's won it by five pints. One of the best goals I've ever seen, scored by Richard Hughes, soccer style. He dribbled it from the middle of the field and flicked it over the goalie on the run with the front part of the boot uh, in over the keeper. Uh, I was at that end, I raised the green flag in delight for him. Great goal. Uh, super skill altogether. Anyway, I said I get this out of the way because I'll be home late and I might be in bed early or in bed late in the morning. We'll see. Uh, I have a few uh, that I like tomorrow. Nope, but there's only one price up. That's for the the Air Gold Cup trial tomorrow. It's a six furlong race at air at 3.45 and the ground is soft, good to soft in places. And that will suit the choice, which is 12th night. I backed it there with a boost at 7 to 1 uh, with Hills. And I see now and there in the last five minutes, it's uh, um, put up there as 11 to 2 shot with uh, 365. Um, when it moved yards from Archie Watson, it was rated 80. And it won first time out 78. And it beat that Bielsa, which is a decent yardstick. And it was on soft ground last April. When you get on soft ground in Ripon in May uh, this year. Two two runs, but the last time it ran on good ground as well. Um, it's where I was talking about last year and this year. It was light on the morning. I called Saturday morning, Friday morning. The mind has come out with stuff at the time. It's unreal. But he's coming up with a run on the rail. He's the white cap and he gets sort of blocked. And uh, and she runs on but that was on good good to firm in places and I think he's better on soft strike red he's making headway to give chase with 12th night stand side they've gone clear of open mind as it takes time drops away just another bottle from 12th night denied a clear run inside the final furlong strike red over on the far side but it's just another bottle holding on towards the line just another bottle hell strike red 12th night between I think he could have won that race with a clear run. He had to pull left uh, or to his right. Um, 
But I, I five paying five places thirty to two shot. Uh, I think it's a, a good each way bet. And then uh, in Killarney, in the seven fifty. Um. There's no prices up for this. But voice of reason. Went into the notebook after its first run. Went to third to uh, Cairo last August. Not seen again at Roscommon this year. On the 1st of June. But the forum got a big boost yesterday. When summer... Race. Pivotal trigger still in front. Harbour wind challenging Harbor down wind. the outside in the nose. Hosed band. up. That's him on the outside in third. Voice of reason down the outside inside the final furlong. Not much to choose now between on the rail. Pivotal trigger near side harbour wind and they fight it out. Less than 100 yards to race. Pivotal trigger with the advantage on the inside and pivotal trigger will win it for Shane Foley and Jessica Harrington. Harbour wind second. A break to voice of reason. I think it ran into two decent horses there yesterday. I had said that uh, when that race was on that time um, and the two of them had uh, pulled away but uh, Harper Wind hosed up yesterday so I'm, the step up and trip should suit as well tomorrow there's one in uh, staying race in Wolverhampton now seldom you see the Christopher Yard with ones so lowly rated But it it off eight to one, sixty six to one, and two hundred to one, and then the last day, first time in a handicap of forty six. We're mile on three furlongs and ninety nine yards in the orange and black chevron sleeves. Then comes Highland Flyer back in third place Manxman is battling next to the rail who loves you baby is struggling to pick up these leaders they're up towards the final furlong and a half and down the center of the course it's still Dee's dream but look at Manxman and Luke Catton every time he gets going there this horse he finds a bit more and Manxman who's been gambled on here today is going to come home and win this in the end pretty handsomely for the Crisfords Manxman is too good Dee's dream in second place Drop eleven pound for that. Eleven pound wouldn't have stopped him there. Um uh, Step Up and Trip should suit. Um The one I'd be sort of afraid of would be Time Wave. It looks to be better on the goo than it is on uh on the turf. And back on the goo again. You can see there's one in Southern and one in Kempton. And uh, not great on the grass but Manxman seems to be one there's there's one there in Killarney tomorrow evening to keep an eye on as well if there's dash for it um, there was a big gamble on it the last day Anno Mano Anno Mana uh, it's in the same colours as Anno Sierra and it's in the same ownership as well we went off 4 to 1 favourite from 12's the last day And if the very start of the race here is drawn in the very right, the, as we look at it, on the widest of all, which was badly drawn in Nace. But uh, it stays in the stalls. It, it leaves its race here. The evening at Nace. And there off, 16 runners over a mile and a quarter in the Care at Home Services handicap. It's Laney Tide pushed up to dispute it early on with lucky question. It had no chance after that. We'll fast forward. Oh, fly like Lady and then Miss Langmore and lucky question. After them is Game Eagle. Still on the far side and nearly last and place. Back towards rear division. They've gone by halfway as they swing into the straight and the Care at Home Services handicap. It's Slaney Tide followed to the final She's two. very by left Chica now. Linda. Then Haya Lee and Katana is creeping onto the heads of the leaders. Lilac Lady next with Gimme Five and Lucky Question and Kurt Coolan gets a jet and Miss Langmore fades ahead of Anna Mann. Game Eagle up the hill they come. Slaney Tide is the one they've got to go and catch. Emerging out of the pack, Lilac Lady on the outside of Where Do You Now, Bob and Chica Linda and Gimme Five is staying on with Lucky Question but Slaney Tide has made it all. Two late winners for Jim Bulger. Lilac Lady second. Judge to be fair to the jockey, he, he, he sort of tried his best. He knew well the money was down and he probably said to himself in the turn for a oh shit, I better try 
but uh, it wasn't to be. But they know that that's well handicapped. It's off 53. Um, so whether it's drawn two and seven tomorrow, drawn in seven tomorrow, better drawn. Um, just check to see what the, does the money come for it again. Um, because that could be it's a three year old, it's a competitive race. Uh, enough, it's never that simple like a, a thinking as well handicapped and getting the job done. Um, anyway, I get out of, I get out of your way. Bash the bookies over and out.